Shawshank Tech community. It is my greatest pleasure to welcome you to the Shawshank Tech Class of 2021 graduation. Through the challenges of this year, I didn't think we would be able to celebrate with all of you today on the football field. This was all made possible because of the teachers, members of administration, and student representatives that pushed for our class to get the events we longed for for the past four years. My name is Katia Mello, and I am the Senior Class Student Council Representative. I have been part of Student Council for all four of my high school years. And it's been, it has been such an amazing and fulfilling experience to serve our community together. I would like to take a moment to thank a few teachers that have shaped my time at Chaucheen. First, Thank you to Ms. Naughton for being there for me outside of the academic setting and listening to me every morning in her cycling. I would also like to thank Mrs. Robinson and all the health assisting teachers for helping me learn the skills I need for my future and pushing me to have confidence I rarely had in myself. These teachers have made me a better student, but more importantly, a better person. Thank you to my parents who have supported me through every high and low that these four years have brought. I also want to thank each and every one of you for supporting the class of 2021 in so many ways, and most importantly, for celebrating us with us today. Go Rams! <laughs> In this difficult year, we all have so much to be grateful for, not the least of which is our citizenship. So at this time, please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. It is an honor to ask you to remain standing for a recorded rendition of the National Anthem. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
everyone. My name is Mohammed Ali Khalifa. I am from the engineering shop and a senior representative of Shashi. It is my esteemed pleasure to introduce our school superintendent director, Dr. Brad Jackson. Dr. Jackson has over 26 years of experience in the central office and was named Massachusetts Superintendent of the Year in 2020. Although with COVID-19, I have not had a proper chance to meet with Dr. Jackson. I have worked with him in the, in the monthly school committee meetings, where I have seen his leadership role firsthand. Without further ado, I would like to introduce Dr. Jackson, our school superintendent director. Thank you. Members of the Shashin School Committee, distinguished faculty and staff, families and friends, and most of all, members of the class of 2021, good evening. I can't believe we're here tonight. <laughs> While this is my first speech to the graduates of Shaw Sheen as your superintendent, it's actually my 17th or 18th graduation speech in total. I've always followed some simple rules when putting together a speech. The first is to keep it short. Ever since 20, 2004, when I walked out the door of my house dressed in my freshly pressed suit to go to my first graduation, my wife yelled out to me, keep your speech short, Brad. They didn't come there to hear you talk. <laughs> so as a man who's been married for 39 years, I will follow my wife's instructions and endeavor to keep my remarks short. My second rule of graduation speech speeches is to always, always, always focus my remarks exclusively on the graduates. However, tonight, in this case, I'm not going to follow that rule. So before I share my thoughts with the graduates, I feel it's appropriate to acknowledge the heroes among us, the Shashin faculty and staff who have come together in the most amazing and student-centered ways to give their students the best education available since COVID disrupted our world in March of 2020. So tonight, I'd like to ask all of the members of the Shashin faculty and staff to please rise at your place, or if you are already standing, please raise your hand and wave. And I'd like to ask the families and the graduates to please join me in thanking these remarkable educators for everything they've accomplished with and for your students during these past 16 difficult months. Now to our graduates. About 30 years ago, when I was visiting my, my father in the hospital just before he passed away, a hospice nurse pulled me aside to assure me the memories of my dad's final days would fade over time and be replaced by the positive and happy memories of our many, many times together. In the middle of that awful experience, I couldn't imagine that being true, but sure enough, as time passed, I was able to put the difficult memories in perspective and saw the positive and joy joyous ones take their rightful place in the forefront of my memory. When you reflect on your time as a junior and senior in high school during the COVID pandemic, I believe with all of my being that as time passes, your memories of the inevitable disappointments and losses at the hands of the pandemic that you experience will begin to fade. I am convinced that you will eventually see that there are some positive outcomes that came through living through this experience. Why do I say that? Because in spite of a worldwide pandemic that shut down the global economy, 
for 16 months in spite of being unable to attend your academic classes in person, in spite of all of the challenges and all of the setbacks that you faced, today you gather the class of 2021, 313 strong to receive your high school diplomas on your football and athletics. to admit this diploma is a little different. Ordinarily, Shashin diplomas represent the successful completion of your academic requirements and the acquisition of the skills required by your chosen shop. But the class of 2021 is leaving Shashin having learned so much more beyond the academics, beyond the skills, in order to not just survive, but to thrive each and every one of you has had to develop a human trait that will serve you well throughout your life, whatever the path you may choose. And that trait is perseverance. Graduates, COVID will not be the last obstacle that you face in your life. Every day, each and every one of you will be faced with challenges to overcome or problems to solve. That's life. As the ancient African proverb remind us, smooth seas do not make skillful sailors. Solving your problems and overcoming challenges takes hard work, a commitment to excellence, and most importantly, a recognition that you can never, ever give up. To quote a former Speaker of the House, perseverance is the hard work you do after you get tired of doing the hard work you have already done, but you already know that. You have already learned that lesson because here you are, the class of 2021. You have persevered and overcome unprecedented obstacles, and now you are ready to take on new challenges and seek new opportunities. And so to the class of 2021, I can only say, well done. We will miss you, and we love you. Congratulations on your remarkable accomplishments. Good evening, everyone. My name is Madison Fusco, and this year I had the pleasure of being one of the student representatives for Shawshank School Committee. A committee is all about togetherness, order, and creating change that benefits the group it's watching over. Our school committee is especially concerned with guaranteeing students that they are receiving the best education possible, and there's no one who could confirm that statement more than attorney Patricia Muse. She does it all from being a mother of six and a grandmother of 19 to being a board member of a nonprofit organization, all of the while being a part of our school committee for more than 20 years. It is my sincere pleasure to introduce you all to the chairperson of Shawshank School Committee, Patricia Muse. Thank you, Madison. On behalf of the Shashin Tech School Committee, I want to welcome all the families and friends of the class of 2021. And thank you for giving this school the privilege of educating your children. I would like to thank all of our school staff, teachers, food service custodians, clerks, secretaries, administrations, assistants, all the people who work in the school who have contributed to the student's success. This has been a tough 15 months and you, our students, have shown us that no challenge is too hard for you, and you have succeeded in attaining your diploma. The school committee is proud of you and wish to congratulate your achievements. At this time, I would like all graduates, graduates to congratulate themselves and congratulate the students sitting next to you for a job well done. To 
Today you start a new chapter in your life. So I wish to leave you with a few words that I have paraphrased from St. Mother Teresa of Calcutta. I pray that all of you graduates do not carry just a diploma with you, but that you carry love, peace, and joy, that you smile at everyone you meet, that you are kind to others. And remember, the world is changed by your example, not by your opinion. And last but not least, life is an adventure. Dare it. Congratulations again, and God bless. Good evening, class of 2021, friends, families, educators, faculty, and all else who join us here tonight. To our maintenance department, cafeteria workers, and many other Shawshin members, from English teachers to science teachers, to shop and related teachers, to our own class advisors, thank you. Thank you to my own parents, family, friends, and those who surround me. And thank you to the families behind each graduate here today because you have surely impacted our class as a whole. Thank you for your unwavering dedication, commitment, and support, impacting so many more than you may even be able to fathom. I am Anthony Prezioso, a graduating senior of the carpentry shop in our salutatorian. Now somehow, I have procrastinated my way here. Even when the schoolwork piled up, it always got done, even if that was just before the deadline. When you begin to feel overwhelmed, Look around at all the opportunities you have and then take action. When life gets hectic and you're stressing about things like Miss McKee's 10 page paper due in two days that you haven't even started yet, <laughs> or you're thinking about that 26 minute physics lecture you have to watch and take notes on, be grateful to be overwhelmed <laughs> with so many positive opportunities. Understand that those multi tree math packets we received from Mrs. DeMarco possibly had the potential to teach us if we took the opportunity. Now, it might be in your best interest not to supplement my income like Sam and opt out of the work, but rather take advantage of each opportunity presented to you. Ms. McKee, for legal reasons, that was a joke. <laughs> sure, I don't necessarily believe in all the assignments we spent our valuable time working on. But when you take a step back and see the final product that you have been able to form through your countless efforts, I hope you are proud of the person you have formed. I can personally say that my shop experience was a time for me to be in my element and escape so much of the academic stress we faced. Continue to chase your passions and find the things that help you escape in the moment if that's what brings you through another day. And as you travel through life, maintain your strong ambition to work, but as Jim Rohn said, you can get more money, but you cannot get more time. Each one of us has a clock that will eventually run out, and it'd be a real shame to reach that end and only have money to show for it. In the words of Ferris Bueller, life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and take a look around once in a while, you couldn't miss it. Take a look around at what you have done and continue to be your best you in every moment. When you are challenged further than you ever thought, remember to be decisive. The roads we travel down are scattered with squirrels that couldn't make a decision. Please don't be an indecisive squirrel stuck to the road for everyone's sake. Very shortly, I will pass off the mic to our valedictorian, CC Toucher. I want you to know how intelligent, bright, and strong she always has been. The way she's able to light up a room by simply walking in, and the thoughtfulness, creativity, and wisdom in each action of hers is an absolute gift to the Shawshin community. I would now like to invite Cece to the stage to read her beautifully written speech. I hope you will really focus on her message and understand that each moment is a gift, a gift we must be grateful for, but not take for granted. To all of you, I wish you well through this journey of life, and I'd like to close off by saying congratulations to Shashi's class of 2021. Thank you to Anthony, that was super sweet. Um, 
Hello class of 2021, my name is Cece Toucher. I'll be very honest that public speaking is one of my greatest fears, so I will keep this short. Wherever you all end up, I hope it's in a place where you can all be yourself, and that wherever you go, you feel like you can belong. If Shawsheen wasn't that place, please know that there will be others, and that there is a place for everyone, no matter how cheesy that is to say out loud. It doesn't matter if it takes a bit longer, or that place doesn't make sense to anyone but yourself. Your plan may seem wrong to someone else, or maybe you don't even have a plan. But if you find yourself being genuinely happiest in a place that everyone says is wrong for you, then it's easy to figure out that they don't know you as well as you know yourself. I really do hope that each of you finds that place where you can become who you are and grow and find people around you who will just understand with barely any explanation needed. So to close out, here is a quote from one of my favorite bands. I think it sums up what I've learned these four years. There's only one thing that I know how to do well, and I've often been told that you only can do what you know how to do well, and that's be you, be what you're like, be like yourself. I hope everyone has a really wonderful summer, and in the future finds the place where they can be and become themselves. Thank you for listening, and especially thank you to my teachers, my friends, and my mom for making this that kind of place. Hello and good evening. 720 days. That's how long a normal high school experience is, but the class of 2021 has only had 491 in-person days. During this unique time, to say that I'm honored to represent this class is an understatement. I'm sincerely blessed to be elected by my peers to represent Shashim's class of 2021. It is difficult for everyone to comprehend what seniors have endured this year, and at the end of the day, we only really understand what it's like to wait your whole life for such milestones and then have them taken away like they were nothing. Hello, my name is Callie Zimmerman and I'm your senior class president. When the school told me I had to write a speech about our favorite memories, I laughed. Things are very different now than from before. With our designated water breaks in the hall or trying to stay three feet apart from each other, I can't even imagine being here with trying to stay social distanced. It's crazy to think that it, just a year and a half ago, everything was completely normal. Let's take a moment to remember some of the things we have achieved as students at Shashin Tech. I can remember being in our freshman year, sitting with our home rooms in the gym and having the seniors at the time tell us that our high school experience was gonna fly by. And I know none of it was believed but look at us now. I remember everyone being so awkward, especially when we had to make up songs and sing it in front of the whole class. All I can think about from that day is Jesse Saunders standing in the center of the gym floor, singing like her life depended on it. Something that we will never forget, as well as the freshman crews. So many people were dancing and having so much fun. And I remember me, Catherine Toner, Kayla Kuchu, running up and down the stairs from the bottom deck to the top floor, trying to find the best songs to dance to with no care in the world. It was a great way to set a tone for an amazing freshman year ahead. And once the school year officially began, everyone was so excited about choosing their shops and creating lifelong friendships with the other students. Sophomore year was a bit of a blur. We were finally not the annoying freshmen, as the upper classmen like to call us, but we weren't top of the school. I remember when so many students told me that sophomore year was supposed to be the hardest, but it was definitely my favorite. It was the year that people came out of their shells and weren't afraid to show the school who they really were. It was truly amazing to see myself grow as a student and young adult my sophomore year, but it was even more amazing to have the opportunity to do it with my peers. Watching everyone adjust to their shops and begin the lifelong adventurous journey of finding their place in this world is something that I cannot explain to you in a three minute graduation speech, but only something that can be seen through experience. Junior year started off as any other year apart from the murderous mosquitoes that took over our football field. But we were able to bounce back and before I knew it, the entire class was buzzing about who was taking whom to junior prom. But then, out of nowhere, March 13th, the day the world came to a screeching halt. 
the reality of this disease truly hit us like a truck. And I remember the first, on Monday of March 9th, Ms. Carduce herself told us not to be worried and it would be okay. But by that Friday, everything changed. Teachers and some other students were even telling us that we were just gonna be back at school in a matter of two weeks. Everyone was so looking forward to their two week vacation, which happened to get its own name, Coronacation. But that Coronacation turned out to be not so fun. Fast forward to senior year, the year of remote learning. In the beginning, I know I can speak for most of the students when I say we thought it was gonna be a breeze, but there were many ups and downs. Students had to be learned to engage in school while being in the comfort of their own home, but soon stress began to rise while people were losing income due to jobs closing down and even losing some close family and friends. No one had any motivation to do anything, but coming back into school these past two weeks, I could see students bounce back into their old routine. We got to participate in a senior spirit week and seeing so many people dressed up was amazing. Anthony Prezioso brought a surfboard to school luau day and Nicole Mativier had a really cute 90s inspired day outfit for Throwback Thursday. Even some of the teachers got dressed up for the senior spirit. It was extremely exciting to see everyone get back to the swing of things, even if it was just for a short period of time. I want to thank all of Shawshank's staff, students, and close family and friends. And at this time, we would like to thank our classmates who have decided to enlist in the military service at graduation. So would you please stand and accept our gratitude? a few people that have changed my life. I want to thank our senior advisors, Mrs. Baker and Mrs. Ferrari, for not giving up on our classroom countless of times our ideas were getting shut down. My best friend for helping me through the ups and downs of high school. And of course, my mom and dad for being there for me, even if I wasn't being the smartest at the time. The Shawshank staff gave us the tools to become the best versions of ourselves, and that's something that other schools don't get to experience. We seniors have grown tremendously as a class from freshman to senior year, and I want to remind you all that you can put anything you put your mind to. We are adults starting life in the real world now. Working hard is important, but don't forget to have a little fun. And as I close off my speech today, I want to leave you with this. Today is a milestone. It tells you how far you've come. Keep learning. Keep trying. Keep accomplishing and keep venturing on through your journey of life. Thank you. Good evening. I'm Nicole Mativier. As Vice President of the Senior Class, I have had the privilege of working with two of the best class advisors ever. Planning senior events, such as Shop Olympics and prom, are monumental tasks, never mind trying to do them in the midst of a pandemic. Trying to sort through rules and regulations from the state, school board, and administration, while just trying to give us an exciting senior year, is not something that they signed up for. I apologize, sorry about that. Um, through everything, you have given us all of these events. In a few weeks, we'll have prom. 
you've given us a day at Wamaset and a lovely movie night. Through everything, the those after we kept replanning and planning again, you gave us everything we could have asked for. You gave us the best parts of senior year. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for not giving up on us. My name is Mackenzie Levine, former president of Skills USA Shawshin Leadership Team. Today, I am here to uh, thank you, the PAC, for all they have done for us this senior year. With all the unpredicted circumstances of this year, they truly have done the best to make this year memorable. I'd like to thank them for our senior field day with everything they gave, from the themed baskets to all all the food donated, and to every other act of kindness they've given us throughout these four years. With great gratitude, I would like to thank Diana Sam Saunders um, from the PAC. to all of our student speakers this evening, especially the last two who did not have their scripts up here. You did a wonderful job. Thank you. So good evening. My name is Jessica Cook, and I am the principal at Shawshank Valley Technical High School, and you've probably heard that about a hundred times this year with the all calls that I've done to you. Uh, let's hope in the future those are about snow days and not about COVID. I am incredibly proud of the class of 2021 and everything they have navigated and accomplished over the last four years. To our seniors and soon-to-be graduates, you are a talented, resilient, and skilled group of individuals. I am confident that I speak for everyone here when I say that we cannot wait to see what the future holds for each of you. I wish you happiness, health, and fulfillment as you embark on the post-secondary paths that align with your ultimate career goals and aspirations. Although tonight is about celebrating you, the class of 2021, it is important to recognize the people who have loved, supported, and challenged you along the way. So seniors, at this time, I ask that you stand up and look around in the audience for the people who have come here to cheer you on tonight and join me in giving them a round of applause to thank them for everything they have done to help you accomplish what you have. It is now my distinct pleasure to transition to the portion of tonight's ceremony you have all been waiting for. We are going to call up these graduates and hand them their diplomas. Cecilia Toucher. <laughs> Christian Aguila. <laughs> Jessica Cook. 
Dimitri Bellamy. Cody Betancourt. Nicholas Danielson. Nicholas DeLuca. Ryan Haru. Aiden Mann. Sean McKee. Philip Natale. Alec Sokol. Desiree Ward. Ainsley Anderson. Gavin Boulay. Rosemary Brady. Peter Kanek. Zachary Dano. Axel Diaz. Nicholas DeChico. Donald Farah Hicks. Neil Ferreira. Liam Fitzgerald. Brian Flynn. Dylan Franzoni. Benjamin Gendel. Joseph Hansen. Matthew Hemingway. Brendan Kelly. Danielle Kruger. Cameron Loader. Caitlin McCarthy. Francis O'Connor. Logan Reinhard. Devin Strobe. Nicholas Benson. Patrick Callahan. Daniel Cerullo. Sophia Conti. Connor DePietro. Ryan Frazier. Jordan Joyce. George Leite. Katie McElhinney.
Jacqueline Magna. Eric Junbu. Stephen Capsidero. Emily Pinto. Samuel Quatraki. Douglas Renna. Daniel Seawick. Alex Smith. Gianna Sullivan. Seamus Sullivan.
Danielle Kucha. Andrew Risher. Dominic Searles. Eric Tyrone. Derek Swalen. Jessica Bartholomew. Tamara Gorgeous. Serena DeSalvatore. Ashlyn DeVoe. Ella Dillon. Haley Donovan. Khadija Kamara. Lillian Kelly. Cameron Kirchner. Kaylee Liang. Kelly O'Leary. Rebecca Quigley. Sophia Rigo. Grace Steed. Alexia Welch. Brian Callahan. John Durfee. Zachary Fontaine. Justin Kelly. Keith Major. Stephanie Mavra. Lucia McCluskey Sapia. Colby McNaught. Jenna Nelson. Matthew O'Connell. Chloe Pereira. Matthew Pospisil. Tatiana Santiago. Julie Snook. Jay Ward. Mia Cafaro. Paige Carpenter. Faith Clark. Kayla Kuchu. Maya Domino. Jaden Clarity. Chloe Darcy. Taylor Bowden. Kaylee Jenkins. 
Rachel Maffeo. Emily Mancini. Brittany Toro. Lindsay Ward. Callie Zimmerman. Lillian Abraham. Joriel Arlock. Nicole Barry. Ciel Beal Hudson. Devin Brazell. Kelly Delash. Katrina Devona. Lucas Dos Santos. Casey Durham. Sharice Gagnon. Cassandra Howland. Hannah Lydon. Dylan Maher. Andrew James Neal. Juliana Noda. Ashley Pelletier. Jordan Quick. Marina Sagliola. Catherine Ward. Timothy Anino. Jacob Bushy. Sarah Chafee. Madison Fusco. Jake Glinner. Hannah Griffin. Amanda Powell. Jason Marsala. Antavius Nordquist. Jamie Odoms. Cameron Rich. Colin Sainato. Andrew Santana. Donald Andrews. Tyler Archibald. Alexander Campbell. Matthew Chase. Thomas Cox. Christopher DeSisio. Michael Dodge. Austin Dubay. Adam Fitzpatrick. Frank 
Bodie. Catherine Galvin. William Hartshorn. Derek Ingram. Liam McDonald. Sean Murphy. Jared Palmer. Dale Perrin. Richard Rosso. Kenneth Ryan. Evan Willis. Zachary Wilson. Jason Hensley. Muhammad Ali Khalifa. <laughs> Elizabeth Neely. <laughs> Abigail Perry. <laughs> Rihanna Gaberly. <laughs> Elijah Avalar. Bridget Callahan, Sarah Camo, Brian Doherty, Aiden Fitzgerald, Logan Gallagher. Nicole Graham, <laughs> Jessica Pott, <laughs> Brianna Potts, <laughs> Mackenzie Levine, <laughs> Celine Reynolds, <laughs> Lacey Robinson. Gabrielle Roy. Jack Sharn. Jared Sheridan. Devin Stoddard. Austin Bergeron, Devin Galecki, Shelby Bordeaux, Heather Buckland, Jade Farrell. Kayla Fisk, Gianna Tofredo, Rachel Hallis, Amy Jarzinka, Stephanie Prosper. Madeline Lipsky, <laughs> Shayla McLeod, <laughs> Isabel Manning, <laughs> Tegan McDonald, <laughs> Megan McHugh. Mello. Alex 
Alexandria Pinto. Haley Warrior. Olivia Sanchez. Emily Sartori. Jessica Scholl. Talia Steed. Samantha Ucello. Marcella Viana. Devin Almeida. Tino Bonano. Joshua Ryer. James Ginetti. Benjamin McEwen. Stephen O'Connor. Anthony Papa. Aiden Sullivan. Jonah Burrell. Devin Whitney. Michael Wilson. Ryan Averly. Timothy Rogan. Vincent Kakamisi. Jared Ciano. Derek Costello. Jason Donaher. Harrison Fanicos. Joshua Knowles. Zachary Quidor. Jared McLaughlin. Ian McLeod. Zachary Mallon. Timothy Morris. Michaela Duggan. Jenna Johnson. Adam Kearns. Daniel Lee. James Powell. Kaylee Canadis. Katie Crawford. Alyssa Dagel. They 
God. Jessica Duggan. <laughs> Susanna Gillis. <laughs> Stephanie Lafon. Thank you. 
can be loud and